Hello guys and dolls and welcome back to Beauty Inside a Box. Today I have a highly requested doll review and I finally have her, so I'm gonna open her and review her for you. This is... Ariel doll from 1989, I think, which is the year, um, it doesn't actually say that on the box, but I think this is the original Ariel doll, the very first Ariel doll that Disney ever made. So that's really exciting, um, and she is made by a company called Tyco, which I have never heard of Tyco making any other dolls, so this might be the only doll Tyco ever made, although don't quote me on that because I'm not 100% sure. Um, but she's really cool. Uh, it's crazy to think how old this doll is. It's older than me. The box is a bit tatty, but I'm going to give you a, cl a closer look at the box, and then I'm going to take her out and give you a little look at the doll. So if I give you a closer look at the box, it's really, really cool. It says up here, um, from Disney's award-winning movie. It says Disney up the top there. The box is um, quite 80s looking, but I love how bright and vibrant it is. Vintage Disney dolls always reflect their movies really well, I think. You know, like it's got the seaweed, and it's got flounder and the blue for the water. The color scheme works really well with the film. Um, kind of looks like the DVD cover. <laughs> and she's displayed in there really nicely. Um, they've tied up her fins kind of weirdly. I kind of thought that was a bit strange. It says here, fun for water play too. So you can put this doll in the water, although I'm not going to do that because she's very old. <laughs> and then at the bottom here, there are these really nice images. And these actually look like they've been taken straight from the film, these pictures. And it says The Little Mermaid, obviously, in the classic logo. Um, and it says Ariel and Tycho. Uh, so down the side, there is obviously more seaweed. Again, it's really in keeping with the film's aesthetic. Um, at the top, it says Little Mermaid. This doll is from Walmart, and she cost $8.74, which is crazy to think about. And then I found this quite funny. On the back of the box, there's the seaweed and blah, 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 and then it literally has the whole story. Like, once upon a time, in the kingdom beneath the sea, lived a beautiful mermaid called Ariel, yada, yada, yada. It's got the whole story right down to victorious at last, Eric and Ariel wed and sailed off to live happily ever after. Like, it's got the whole, whole story. So you can pause that if you want to have a read. But yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's quite funny to, to think that they put the whole, the whole story on the back. And then obviously on this side, there's some more seaweed uh, and some like starfish and stuff. And it says um, nine and a half inch Ariel is posable arms and legs and comes with removable fins and bikini top. So yeah, she's a bit smaller than the usual dolls, but Ariel is meant to be, you know, a young woman and she's very petite. Um, so it kind of makes sense. So yeah, now I've given you a really good look at the box. I'm going to take her out of the box and give you guys a closer look at the doll. Okay guys and dolls, here she is out of the box. And this doll is absolutely gorgeous. And it's just so weird to think that this was like the very first Ariel doll. This is what kids would have been playing with when the film came out. Just really cool. I feel like this is a little piece of history. <laughs> And these dolls are really rare now as well. Um, I had to pay quite a lot for this doll. I had to get a, um, sent over from America as well. It ended up costing me about 30, 30 or so pounds. I don't normally pay that much for dolls. I, my, my cutoff point is normally like 20 pounds. Um, uh, so yeah, before I give you a closer look at her, let me just show you. Um, I was actually wrong about Tyco. They have made other dolls in the past because it came with this little fold out, um, kind of guide to all the toys and all the dolls that Tyco were making at the time um, and it is really cool like it's it's so uh, it's so like 80s um, so 90s early 90s like really cool and there's even like a whole section up here for the different Ariel dolls that Tyco were making I want the Ariel and Friends doll and also this fell out of the box um, they had an offer on where you could send off for a Little Mermaid charm bracelet, which is really cute. Um, and I wish I could still do that, but sadly, the offer expired in 1991. So, so anyway, here is the doll. Let me give you a closer look. Um, she's got a really, really adorable face. Um, and you know, she's got a bit, her fringe is a bit spiky, um, but if you push it to one side, like you can see how cute her face is. It's very 80s, 
and she has r quite long, considering she's clearly meant to be like a basic doll, um, she's got quite long hair, which I'm really impressed with. It feels quite coarse, and I have seen online that other people who have had this doll, the hair ends up getting a bit kind of matted, so I'm probably, if I do brush it, I'm going to be really careful with it. But yeah, her hair is long, and it's really super bright and red, and I just absolutely love that. I love it when they make aerial dolls, where the hair really pops, and uh, obviously she's got her plastic bra, bikini top, and you know, this kind of looks like quite a few dolls have bikini tops like this. I quite like it when they make her top out of plastic, because it looks more like how it would in the film, but obviously it's removable, which, you know, I, I only like it when clothes are removable, because it's so annoying when they just paint it on. But yeah, it's really cool, it's got a little clasp in the back, and her arms are kind of like neatly placed and um, she can move them obviously up and down. She can also twist at the waist. And then her mermaid's tail is uh, interesting. Um, it's made out of this kind of like green, shiny material and it does really look like a mermaid's tail. It's a shame she doesn't have her little kind of like fins that pop out around her waist. I think that's a shame, but other than that it's really cool and like the silvery scales look really awesome. And then her tail is kind of like padded um, and it's really cool, I think it's awesome. I wish it kind of came in a little bit more here, like it was a little bit tighter, but I think it still looks really good. Um, I am a bit worried that this material is going to wear down really quickly and all the silver stuff is going to come off, but, um, but you know, she still looks really cool and of course Ta-da! She has little legs underneath. And um, she kind of looks like a skipper doll, don't you think? Like, she's got the kind of same proportions as a skipper doll. Um, and she's got cute little feet, and her legs are bendable, which I appreciate so much. Ugh, I, 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 it annoys me so much these days that dolls don't really have bendable legs. Because um, I think it's so important, you know, to be able to bend at the knees. How are they going to sit down? In terms of accessories, she didn't come with much, but she did come with this cute, really cute little comb. And I really like the bottom because it kind of reminds me of a shell, which obviously works quite well with Ariel. But yeah, so that is my full doll review of um, this beautiful, beautiful Ariel doll. Um, made by Tycho. Tell me what you think of this doll, let me know what you think of my review. Thanks so much for watching, I'll try and get some more Tycho dolls offline so that I can review some more for you, because I know um, you guys have been requesting a Tycho doll review for ages. Thanks so much for watching, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel, I really appreciate it, and if you know anyone who likes doll reviews, Disney dolls, make sure you share my videos with them, and you can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter of course, blah blah blah. I'll see you real soon doll fans. Bye! Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da -da.